out, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Parallel World Chat. Season 2 is now back in production, and we have new episodes for you. That means new guests, and we have a new host. But before we get into anything, let's introduce our first host. Now hailing from the backwoods of Wood Backwoods, it's the infamous Mr. Bunny Rabbit the Bunny Rabbit, everybody. Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm back. It's Mr. Bunny Rabbit. It is now season two. I didn't think I would actually get back on the show because I really didn't have a good time the first time around. Well, I'm happy to have you back on the show, even despite the backwards compliment that you just gave us. But let's move on to our next host, and that is Larry Fester, an old man from a planet of only old people. Do you realize that every time that you introduce me, you bring up the idea that I'm old, like I'm just some giant joke to you, and I'm just like entertainment for everybody? Dude, that's because you're on a talk show and we had to make jokes, you know, and like talk about stuff back and forth. Dude, get it together. Oh, it looks like Mr. Know-It-All knows it all. The guy that knows everything just happens to just know it all. Dude, that didn't even make sense. You're just saying things now. I was a fool to not think that they would argue again this year, but I was hoping something for different. But moving on, our next guest is the wonderful, the wild, internet cool guy. You're watching Internet Cool Guy in the morning with Internet Cool Guy in the beef. 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 Internet Cool Guy. Beef. What the heck was that? Internet Cool Guy has got like a whole new voice and everything. He even looks different. I, I don't even recognize that guy. Yeah, Internet Cool Guy got a TV show or radio show or something like that between the whole four years that we were gone from the show from the first season. And uh, now he's doing this with, our, I think that's his friend, the beef, the new dude on the show. You're absolutely right, Mr. Bunny Rabbit. Internet Cool Guy had a lot of success with his internet online show, and now he's got a new person with them being the Beef. So let's give a big round of applause for our new host, the Beef. Wow, this is really cool. I'm on a television show. Thanks for having me. It is an absolute pleasure being here today with you all. Well, that's gonna take me some time to get used to. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? I kind of like it, you know, it's a little bit different than listening to you rant all the time. I think it's really cool that I'm here in the show with you all, and, uh, like, thank you all for, uh, including me. You are very welcome, the Beef, and we are very happy to have you on our show. But before we get any further into any of this, we need to start our first commercial. Do you love hanging out with your dad and sometimes you just can't hang out with him because he's a little bit too far away or he's busy? But now you can hang out with your dad all the time with the new Rent-A-Dad. Get down with the fatherly fun like this, throwing leaves at each other, hanging out with your dad and having a sweet, killer, awesome time. Now you can do it all the time with extra dads. Why just have one father when you can have a bunch of awesome, cool, psychedelic, dope dads? Now we can all hang out and do cool stuff like this, like shake them around with a laptop. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Rent a dad. Call in now. Call in now for a half off deal for the first time. Don't you wait. Call right now and get yourself a rent a dad. I love rent a dad. I'm actually one of the new people who signed up, so when you call in and you're looking to get yourself a rent a dad, you might end up with me. Dude, that's one of the most terrifying things I've ever heard in my life. I mean, I definitely feel bad for any kid that gets stuck with you. That sounds like an absolute nightmare. You're just jealous that I'm gonna be a father. I wanna be a dad. That sounds like a really cool time. I wanna try. You don't try as a father. You either do it or you don't do it at all. Tell me about it, dude. I have 700 children and I don't know what to do with them all. I would love them and hold them, but I'm a cactus and it hurts some people. Mr. Bunny Rabbit, I didn't realize that you had so many children and that you were even a father at all. Well, Mr. Kirby, that's because I have the attributes of an Earth-1 rabbit, so I reproduce a whole lot of them. But in my universe, I'm actually both the mother and the father. And because I get down quite often, you know, I had a lot of babies. Don't be disgusting. I don't want to hear about you getting down all the time with yourself. I love getting down with myself. You're getting down with Internet Cool Guy in the beef right now in the morning. Beef, beef, <sighs> Can't you all just be happy for me? You know, I'm about to be a father! You're absolutely right, Larry. We're all very happy for you. But first, before we can even appreciate your fatherhood, we gotta get to another commercial. Another commercial? We just had one like a minute and a half ago. How many commercials are gonna be on this show? Well, Mr. Bunny Rabbit, it's not actually up to me. This is our sponsors, and this is how they finance the show. This is how we're even able to stay on the air. Well, fine then. I'm gonna pick the commercial this time. 
Larry, you don't actually pick the commercial. It, it just plays on its own. It's already, it's already picked out. I'm gonna pick a commercial right now. We'll be right back, everybody. Hold on. I'm picking it. When I think about you, I think about eating a hot dog. Every time I see a dog, I think about your face and hot dogs. I said, you know I love it. I said, I love it when you're making me a great dog. Relish on the side, I love a hot dog. You know I need your love, I need your hot dog. Yeah. Next time you're thinking about getting yourself a dog, why not start reaching out for a dirty dog hot dog? All the families love it, and it's number one on most states. Now give it a try. Say to love your hot dog, yeah. Oh great, now I want a hot dog. All those loving families just made me really hungry for a hot dog. Yeah, I'm not really liking the name of the business. Uh, dirty dogs, hot dogs, I don't know if I can trust that. But I am actually craving a hot dog now. Well, that's wonderful to hear, but right now we're going to go on to a new segment. We're going to try something completely different. I'm going to show you a video clip that's going to be super zoomed in, and you're going to tell me what you actually think that that video clip is. That sounds like a great time right now to try. I'm going to make a guess. Alright everybody, and there we have it. There's our video clip. What do you think it is? I'm going to give all of you guys a chance to answer, and then we're going to have another round right after this. Okay, I'm going to go on a limb here, and my guess is going to be the Abominable Sasquatch. Mr. Bunny Rabbit, the Abominable Sasquatch is not even a real thing, so your answer doesn't count. I have a really good feeling that it's actually a hot dog up close. I'm going to say that it's love. That's what love looks like when it's up close. It looks like a giant bundle of hair, but you know what it's not? It's not- Internet cool guy in the beef in the morning with Internet cool guy in the beef. Beef. <laughs> well, I'm actually sorry to say that none of you actually got it. Internet cool guy, you were pretty close. It was actually a close-up of a dog. Check it out, I'm a dog. I'm a dog right now. Check me out. I've always been a dog. Alright, you know the rules of the game, we're gonna do one more round and see how all of you do this time. Did you just play the same clip again? It looked like the same exact clip twice. Don't let it, that's actually another video clip, but I'm gonna have to say it's probably the scene of a murder crime thing. I thought it was really cool, so I, I think that it's, uh, bugs? In my opinion, I'm gonna have to say it was probably a pasta of some sort. Pasta in the morning with a fork and a bowl. Well, I'm gonna say that you all were very close, but actually, Internet Cool Guy was very spot on with it being pasta. Pasta, 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 pasta. Well, that was a lot of fun playing that game, but now we're gonna have to move on to the final segment. Today's special guest is actually Teenage Benjamin Franklin reincarnated, and we're gonna see what's going on in his brand new life. Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for having me on your show. It's quite a pleasure being on here. I'm Teenage Benjamin Franklin reincarnated. I don't want you to be worried about my face. That just kind of happens when you get reincarnated. I was just about to actually ask you what was going on with your face, because that's like doing weird stuff. Dude, Larry, why do you gotta be so rude all the time? You know, it's not really nice to say stuff like that, because often I wonder what's going on with your face. I apologize, Teenage Benjamin Franklin Reincarnated. I am so sorry that my hosts are actually kind of being rude right now, but we want to ask you a few questions, and what is it that you're bringing us here today? Well, we all know that I'm a classic style man, so I wanted to come back with a classic style product. And my, my, my product now that I'm bringing around is oats. Remember oats? Remember eating oatmeal all the time and how much you used to love oatmeal? I don't have the ability to actually eat food and chew it and digest it, but I am also very interested in what you're bringing us. I like how he looks like the guy on the Quaker oatmeal boxes. That's cool. Okay, 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 so the dude makes oatmeal now and he's back to life from once before, whatever, but I mean, like, really, why are we even interviewing this dude? Well, Mr. Bunny Rabbit, it's actually a gigantic feat to come back from the death, but we were actually under the false in uh, impression right here. We actually thought that he was making a rap album. I had no idea that he was making oatmeal. 
I apologize for the confusion, you know, I don't actually sing words ever, you know, I like to sing rhythms and melodies, but I don't typically sing words. But here, let me show you a commercial of my oatmeal. Hey everybody, it's me, it's Teenage Benjamin Franklin reincarnated, and that's right, I am back from the grave. You might have known some of my presidential types of work, you know, I did such and such and this and that back then, but now I'm coming in with a brand new product of oats, something that we all completely know, we relate with, and I wanted to bring oats to you in the style of like when I was a child too. Remember when oats were just like real fun and everyone had oats so next time you're thinking about having yourself a bowl of breakfast why not go get yourself some teenage benjamin franklin reincarnated oats it's gonna be completely classic teenage benjamin franklin reincarnated oats the next time that you are looking for a bowl of oatmeal in the morning in the breakfast time get yourself a bowl of teenage benjamin franklin reincarnated oats you know, I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to say to this guy, because I really just don't Benjamin frankly care. Uh, see what I did there? <laughs> well, Teenage Benjamin Franklin reincarnated, we thank you so much for showing you, us your oatmeal and your product of, of that, uh, but all my questions were actually about your rap album, so I don't have anything completely prepared at all, so is there anything you'd like to fill in? Well, I'd just like to apologize once again for the confusion, and I didn't realize that everyone was thinking that I was a singer, but I just want you to go out and try a bowl of my Teenage Benjamin Franklin reincarnated oatmeal. Give it a shot. Dude, can we stop talking about oatmeal now? Get this dude out of here. I want to move on with my day, you know? I want to go eat some real food, you know, something that's chewable. Hi, Mr. Bunny Rabbit. I only eat food that's chewable. Dude, you know what? Oatmeal's pretty good. I like it because I, I love a lot of food that I actually don't have to chew. So what's up now? I only recently became sentient, and so, like, because of that, I've been learning about a lot of stuff. And a lot of stuff is really, really cool, and I, I really like oatmeal. Thank you. And don't forget that you've been watching Internet Cool Guy in the Beef in the morning with Internet Cool Guy in the Beef. Well, it looks like that's all the time that we have today on the show. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching Parallel World Chat Season 2, Episode 1, and a big, huge thank you to our new guest, Teenage Benjamin Franklin Reincarnated and showing us his oatmeal. We really appreciate it. If you'd love to go and like and share and comment on our cartoon here, we would really, really appreciate that. We're planning on having more episodes, so we can only hope that we can get you involved, uh, set up a subscription, uh, get your name on here. I, I got a lot of different ideas, and get it everyone involved so thank you everybody so much i'll see you next time hey i'm a dog and i've always been a dog i've been a dog on my life and i'm a dog dog beep 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 dog internet internet cool guy beep dog dog i've always been a dog 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 you've been watching parallel world chat you've been watching the show for about 14 minutes and 13 seconds I'm a dog, internet cool guy, what's up, get down with it, hot dog, yeah, rant the damn, come on, get with it, I'm a dog, beef dog.